welcome back everybody. John here again with Fit for Knives. It's another versus day today. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Cold Steel Chaos buoy. Right there, look at that beast. And the APOC Trench buoy knife. So two pretty cool designs. We're gonna put them up against one another and uh, kind of compare them and see which one I prefer <laughs> and then you can make your own assessment okay some quick specs the chaos buoy it weighs 23.1 ounces blade thickness 5 millimeters so it is a does have a pretty thick blade there uh, blade length is 10 and a half inches overall length 16 and a half inches so this is a big boy here blade steel is SK5 the handle is made out of uh, 6160 aluminum and it does have this <laughs> like really huge acorn nut type skull crusher on the back yeah okay so it it does come with the secure x sheath all right next we have the apoc trench knife blade length is 8.875 inches Overall length is 14, a little over 14 inches. Uh, blade style, of course, is we have the clip point buoy, buoy knife design. It has this swedge here that's unsharpened. It's made out of 9260 spring steel. Uh, it has the black oxide coating as well as the chaos. The chaos also has that type of coating. Blade thickness is six millimeters. So this one at the base is a little bit thicker than the chaos buoy handle material is g10 and it does have a uh, a sheath that's made out of kydex so pretty similar to the chaos buoy sheath but this one is kydex they do have the same type of belt system attachment there so pretty similar there and this weighs one pound two ounces all right so let's put these two knives up against one another and there you go you can kind of see a size comparison the chaos buoy definitely has the advantage there but no matter you, hey like they always say size doesn't matter right <laughs> i don't know whatever okay so we're gonna check it out see which one of these does the best and uh, you can judge for yourself at the end which one would you prefer all right here we go all right so let's see how sharp the chaos buoy is mm. <laughs> well definitely could be sharper there but for a big blade it's not bad so next up is the APOC. Let's see how sharp this is. Not as sharp as the Chaos. I can tell you that right now. All right, let's move on. All right, for the next test, I have a broomstick here and uh, this is kind of simulating bone. So let's see how these do uh, cutting into this broomstick handle first off chaos buoy We're gonna do two Okay, so we definitely got halfway through that So that would definitely do some damage to bone in my opinion Okay, next up APOC. One more. Okay. So not as deep as the Chaos, but still went in there pretty good. Okay. I don't know if you want to see it. But let's try throwing these. <laughs> these are definitely not throwing knives. Is 
Nope. Come on. We gotta at least stick one, you know what I mean? Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're getting it now. Man, that penetrated in there deep. Wow. Both of them. Nice. This chaos buoy is just really performing well under this test. <laughs> I mean, look at this. You gotta see this. Look at how deep that penetrated in there. Insane. All right, next test. Let's see if we can split this piece of wood using the chaos buoy. Penetrated pretty well. Try it again. This time I'm gonna kinda go back here like this <laughs> with the pinky over that right there here we go there we go that did it that time all right all right next up the apoc same test pretty decent penetration there all right so i'm going to utilize the same grip for this next chop but it is pretty uncomfortable here in the palm of my hand. So anyway, let's do it. Nope, not quite, but it did penetrate quite well in there. Okay, the next test is more of a durability test. Pretty thick piece of metal here. I would say what? 18 gauge maybe i don't know it's not super thick but i would say like a car hood or something of that nature so i'm gonna penetrate with a reverse grip here all right no damage Still pretty sharp. Okay, same test with the APOC. This one is a little bit less comfortable with this reverse grip, that's for sure. Here we go. Coating's wearing a little bit. No damage there. Still very pointy. <laughs> All right, did good. All right, so let's see how this does. Penetrating an old tire. First up, chaos buoy. Next up, APOC. A little bit more penetrating power with this one. Man, steel belted 
having fun though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing there. Not penetrating there. Nope. Hey, we tried. All right, so we're here at the end and uh, I guess you're gonna wanna know my conclusion on these two blades. Well, I thought they both performed very well. Now, there was a significant size difference in the Chaos Buoy and the APOC, so the Cold Steel uh, Chaos Buoy did have an advantage there Whereas the APOC, you know, it was lighter, so it couldn't do a lot of the chopping tasks like the Chaos could. But as far as the penetrating test, uh, they both did equally well uh, in hand. Now, when I threw these, the Chaos buoy was penetrating in there deep. I mean, it was going in there very, very, very good. Now, with that said, uh, in my opinion, the Chaos Buoy did a little bit better than the APOC. That's not saying that these two blades are not weapons of destruction, because they are. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you're in a situation where you would have to use one of these blades in self-defense, they're going to get the job done. Um, the handle didn't bother me as bad as I thought it was going to. Uh, bother me with the chaos buoy with this section here when I was using it I really wasn't paying attention to it um, this one I thought maybe the guard around here that has a sharpened edge this is this is kind of sharp let me show you around this area here I would love it if it was beveled or smoothed you know around there that would be great but it didn't bother me, you know, in hand, using it, and I didn't use gloves, so it didn't bother me that bad. Could this handle be a little bit more comfortable? Yes. All in all, I think both these blades performed very well. Um, would I recommend both of them? Yes, I would. If you need something of this size <laughs> to mess around with in the backyard or self-defense, um, I definitely would recommend these two blades. All right. Well, let me know in the comments what you thought and what you think of these two blades, if you have one. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right. This is John with Fit for Knives. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and like and subscribe. Take care.